This next question is, what do you need and how do you configure a three display iFinity setup? For this particular three screen iFinity setup, I'm using an HIS HD 5870 iFinity 6 video card, a number of adapters. Two of these actually come with the video card and these are mini display ports to DVI adapters. Now this particular adapter does not come with the video card but it is required. This is an active mini display port to DVI adapter. Active meaning it's powered. It's powered via the computer's USB port. The LCDs that I'm using only have VGA or DVI, so I'm using DVI connections, but these video connections will vary depending upon your display's capabilities. Now remember, if you are connecting more than two displays, you will need an active display port like this, unless your particular LCD or display has a display port. So for my particular setup, I'm using again two of these mini display port to DVI adapters. So the adapter itself would get connected into the video card first. This would be the mini display port end. And then the DVI end would get connected into the DVI cable and then from there would go into the LCD. The active display port adapter works in the same fashion, except of course it's powered via this USB cable, which gets connected into the computer's USB port. But the mini display port end gets connected into the video card, and the DVI end gets connected into the LCD's DVI cable, and in turn, that of course gets connected into the LCD. So I've connected two LCDs using the included two mini display port, two DVI adapters, and another LCD using an active mini display port to DVI adapter. With all the connections made and the latest driver installed, now we can go ahead and start to configure this, all of these screens into what you call a group. But before I do, let me give you a brief overview of my particular setup. These are Samsung 2343 23-inch LCDs. I've chosen to go with three screens, and these three screens are in a portrait mode. And what this does is it gives you that much more vertical height, and it just makes it appear like it's a bigger screen, and also it takes up less desktop space. Now as you can see the displays are incorrect. There's one that's not actually on but it will be and there's this one on the right which should be over here and this one should be over here. So how do you arrange all these and group all these and also there's another concern about of course the bezels. How are you going to compensate for those? Now if you do not have your displays in a portrait mode, then you won't have to do this. But since I have mine like this, I will need to flip them in what's called a portrait flipped mode. And in order to do so, I just go into the Catalyst Control Center and in here go to Desktops and Displays and within here you can rotate them to flipped. Now what I will need to do is create a group and as you can see right now all three displays are duplicated. So I'll need to extend the desktop from the left all the way to the right. So let's go ahead and create this group. Click this drop down menu. You can see the three screens and then display group and then create group and here is where you choose the configuration this is the correct one for me three screens each one in a portrait mode I'll accept that you can see the start button is right here and the screens they are not grouped or arranged properly so I will need to do that and it asks me a question here is the display arrangement correct? No, it isn't. So now, one screen will turn blue. Which one is this? Pick from the one of the three, and that would be the center one. 
also here which one is blue this one is you're not quite finished yet because you'll need to do the bezel adjustment and it's asking here do you want to compensate for the bezels around the edges of the display so I'll say yes and what I will do is just compensate for the bezel you know somewhere where you think is correct and also you'll need to do it on this screen as well so I'll do it over here as you can see here it's sliding from one screen to the other screen even over here you can see it's pretty nice and now what you have is one massive desktop space which is fantastic for things like browsing the web word processing or spreadsheets and one of my favorite things to do video editing it just gives you so so much space to do work it's just unbelievably productive and of course for things that are not productive at all they're just fun this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 I just loaded the game up first thing to do is to adjust the resolution and the maximum resolution for my particular setup is 3456 by 2048 so let me go ahead and apply these settings so here we have some in-game play as you can see it's quite engrossing This is Theater 2. Again, you can see how well this three screen Ifinity setup works for, especially first person shooters. You've got your crosshairs in the center, in the center screen, and your peripheral screens, one on the left and one on the right. I hope this answers your question, and keep your questions coming.